Okay, so last video, we got our idle to walk transitions going, and we got our character moving. So we're already starting to work in animation states within our animator window. Now we need to set up some, I guess, checks within our code to tell or be able to know in our code which animation node we're currently in which animation current node we're in so for instance if i press play oh, let me unminimize maximize that so if we press play let's see we should be in our like so moving around so right now we're in our walk state and now we're in our idle state so let's set up some ways in which we can get at these nodes in our code to see if we're currently in them. All right, so let's get back to our code. So the first thing we need to do is set up some variables. And there are gonna be quite a few variables we're gonna set up, so just bear with me and I'll explain what each are as I make them. So underneath my animator, uh, uh, animator right here, this is our variable that gets at our animator component. I need to make a new variable called animator, animator state info and we're going to call this current state info all right and below it we're going to make quite a few static variables here all right so we're going to start out by making a static int and we're going to call this current state this is going to be the variable that we're going to be accessing current state this is going to be the variable we're going to access to know what currently what current state we're in and it's an int because we're going to convert the name of all of our animation nodes here into a serial code, if you will, of an integer number. All right, so let's go ahead and make a static int for each and every single animation node or animation state we have going on right now. So why don't we just focus on idle and walk right now. So I want to make a static int and I want to have an idle state variable. And we're going to set this equal to animator dot string to hash. And we're going to go base layer colon idle or dot idle rather. All right. So basically this line of code initializes a static integer variable called idle state. And we're setting it to the idle state animation and this string to hash command right here takes the name idle and it converts it to a integer number so why don't we see that in action right now so in void update i'm going to do a debug.log and i'm just going to print out idle state okay so when we see void update in our console we're going to constantly print idle state which should be an integer serial code i, I say in serial code in quotation marks because that's <laughs> that's just what i see it as it's kind of my description for what we're doing here so we're going to my animator window we're looking at my base layer idle and we're converting that name to a string to hash in which idle state now equals so idle state will be the integer serial code of this layer right here. So I'm gonna hit Control S to save. Let's go to my console, I'm gonna hit clear. And I'm going to uncheck collapse and let's see what happens. So right here, we constantly get this integer value. In fact, I'm gonna hit collapse here. Collapse just basically when I hit play, instead of printing over and over again, we just get a counter of how many times it's printed. So this is the serial code I'm talking about. This is our idle state serial code, which is perfect for us right now. That's what we want. So I'm going to copy and paste this line of code right here, right below it. And now I'm going to create one for idle state so, or walk state rather. So walk state equals animator string to hash. And all I got to do is change that to walk, hit control S. And now we have a serial code integer for walk and idle all right so what are we going to do with this current state though well in update 
why don't we constantly update what current state info we're in? All right. So I'm going to get rid of that debug.log. So right now I have a current state info variable right here that is of type animator state info. So this is going to allow me to see which name in the animator window I'm in, for lack of better words, I guess. So current state info is going to equal animator, which is our animator component we declared right here. Animator dot get current animator state info. And we have a parentheses of zero because that points to our base layer. So what is this base layer we've uh, talked about a few times so far? I'm going to hit control S. Well, if we go to my animator window and go to layers, here we have base layer, and that is what we're working in right now. More complex animation setups might have different layers right here, but we're only going to work in base layer. So we have to tell Unity that our current state info is going to equal whatever info we have in our animator window on the base layer. So now we have a variable that can directly look at all these different nodes right now in our window. Then we need to convert our current state info into a hashtag or that integer serial code. So current state, remember that's where we, do, we declare current state up here, is now going to equal current state info dot full path hash. And this is basically taking our current state info, info or whatever animation state we're currently in, and we're converting whatever current animation state we're in to a hash or a integer code. So now current state is now assigned a integer serial code, much like we assign idle state up here to the idle uh, state, the string to hash. But since current state is going to be constantly updating depending on what animation we're playing, we have to assign its value in the update function here because we want to constantly update what current state we're in, all right? So I'm gonna go through it one more time. We have a animation state info variable right here. And in update, we set that to get current state info, whatever animation state we're playing in, in our base layer, in our animator window, so in here. And then we're converting that st animation state we're in into a hash or an integer and we're assigning it to current state. Now we can easily compare our current state to our idle state. So let's uh, write some code in that constantly updates us on what state we're in. So it's a really easy, since we did all this weird coding with hash and string to hash, now we can easily use these integer variables right here to compare different states and see which state we're currently in. So if current state equals equals idle state, then why don't we write a message to the to the console window and say idle state. Oh. Like so. And why don't we do one for walk state? So current state equals equals walk state debug.log walk state. So with these two conditional checks, we're constantly going to get updates in our console window telling us what state we're currently in. So if our current state equals our idle state, we're going to write idle state to the console window and the same thing for our walk state. I'm going to hit Control S to save. Let's bring up my console window now. Let's clear it. And now we're getting idle state constantly being updated. So that's the difference between collapse and not collapse. So I'm going to start moving. And now it says we're in our walk state. If we stop moving, now it says we're updating and we're idling in our idle state, right? Like so.
So this state machine that we've set up with our static integer idle state string to hash, basically we're really simplifying our animator window. We're just assigning numeric serial codes to every one of these states right here to simplify the process of comparing them to each other. So anytime I wanna see what state I'm in, I just do a check like this. If my current state equals idle state, then I can do whatever code I want if I'm in the idle state, which in this case, we're just simply printing out debug.log idle state. And if you want to, you can make a static integer variable for every single animation state node we have here. So when we get further along into our video, we'll have a check for every single node we have in our animator window. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and write all that in so you can see what the finished product would look like for a check for all of these different states. Be right back. So I've typed that all in. You can see now I have a bunch of new static variables for my projectile, for uh, the first attack in my combo, the second attack in my combo. And it's just all self-explanatory. Here are all my different uh, static int states right here. And now I have a bunch of if statements that are basically just running and doesn't really affect the functionality of my character controller script. But now we can see in our console window what animation we're playing. So if I press play, right now I only have idle state set up and walk state set up. So I can see clearly on my console window what state is currently being animated on our game view here. All right, so that's just an easy example or a easy way we can see what animation we're currently playing in our animator window right now. So that'll be useful in the coming videos in which we need to see in our code which animation state is currently playing. So in our next video, we're going to set up some attacks for our character and set up our hitboxes for our character. All right, see you there.